The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology has lowered the alert level of Mayon Volcano to zero. These and other stories in tonight's National News Roundup by Sweden Volado Ramirez. Over 5 million pesos worth of suspected crystal meth was intercepted by authorities at the NAIA. The 753 grams of suspected crystal meth was discovered after NAIA Bureau of Customs personnel inspected a shipment using an X-ray machine and physically checking it. The shipment of suspected illegal drugs was contained in a birdhouse, shuttlecocks and figure twister. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology has lowered the alert level of Mayon Volcano to zero from alert level one. FIVOX explained that this means Mayon's volcanic activity is back to normal and that there have only been less than five volcanic earthquakes recorded in the last six months. Metropolitan Manila Development Authority or MMDA personnel had to clean up a portion of EDSA after it became muddy. EDSA Traffic Management Unit Chief Bong Nebriha explained that because it was still dark and there was heavy downpour, it was hard to see what caused the mud accumulation in the said thoroughfare through the CCTV camera footage. The MMDA official believes that a driver of a delivery truck containing sand might have dared to traverse EDSA despite the truck ban and some of its cargo spilled along EDSA. The government will allot 20 million pesos of the funds meant for the Barangay Development Program to prevent communist rebels from influencing and recruiting residents. Farm-to-market roads, school buildings, improvement of water and sanitation, construction of health stations, and providing livelihood programs are just some of the projects that can be funded to help government achieve the said goal. National Security Advisor Hermogenes Esperon said the whole-of-government and whole-of-nation approach of the National Task Force to End Local Communist Armed Conflict, or ntf LCAC has been a big help in encouraging former rebels to return to the folds of society. Sweden, Velado Ramirez, for the nation.